So here, Chase Matheny. He's a member of the uh, Lower Columbia Red Devils. And Chase, here you are. You know, it's your second year with with the team. Last year, you guys won a championship. What things are you guys working on and improving on, and hoping to accomplish this year? Um, it's pretty early in the season. We haven't really got any games under our belt, so we're just trying to find some chemistry, some fluidity in our play. We're trying to get better every day, especially defensively. Just trying to find. You know, a solid squad of nine. I mean, our roster is deep. We can put three different lineups together to go win a ball game. But right now, we're just trying to find some chemistry and just some flow in the game. We're trying to get some games under our belt. And you guys, you know, obviously being in junior college, you guys, you know, lose guys every year. But you guys got a lot of freshmen. What things are you seeing with this young class that's coming in? Um, one of the most talented groups I've probably ever been a part of. I mean, you guys got guys like Daniel Jernan, Grant Sherrod, Ryan Pitts. I mean, guys like Daniel Furman just go down the line, just freshman, talented. Um, I'm just excited to see what they can do. I know that they got the tools to do it and have potential through the roof, so I'm excited to see where that, where that goes. And then, you know, here at the college level, you know, things are a lot different from high school level. So what things have you uh, kind of discovered and learned over the last year and a half uh, that's been different from high school? Um, I mean, high school ball for me was a, a, a different experience just because uh, talent gap, uh, work ethic of all out of the players. I mean, obviously, this is college baseball. You're going to have to go through some some difficult times. Very, you're going to be pushed every day, mentally, physically. And if you're not ready for that, I mean, it's going to be tough. But I'd say just the competitive nature and just the going out and getting it every day. It's it's, it's two very different things for sure. And then, you know, here playing at the college level, it's not by accident. You know, it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. It also takes people to kind of push you. Who in your life has been that kind of motivator to help you get to, to where you're at? Um, there's a few people. I mean, take guys that I've, I've, I've learned from. I mean, I just recently started playing outfield. And this is my second year playing outfield. And guys like Noah Andrews, Kyle Sandstrom, and Gary Hurst. But guys even beyond that, like Ricky Muzzy, just guys that have just been there and gotten me better as a player. That whole My whole redshirt freshman year, just looking at guys like Ricky Muzzy and Kyle Sandstrom and Blaze Arcano, just guys that have really gave me my footing and taught me what I, what I know. I mean, it's huge just having guys coming here to play lower Columbia baseball, just top junior college baseball in the country. You look at guys left and right, you just know what they're doing. So just taking in information every day, and it's gotten me pretty far. And, you know, for a lot of players as they're growing up, they look at, you know, different players in Major League Baseball. They like to kind of model their player playoff after and kind of uh, just be excited to watch those guys. Is there a player you really enjoy growing up that you still kind of follow at times? Oh, yeah. Uh, my favorite player of all time, I mean, is Dustin Pedroia. Ever since I was a kid, and all my passwords on my phone, all my email passwords, they're all... All, all got to do with 15. So, I mean, just a, a gritty guy, excellent model, game, guy to model your game after. I mean, just hard worker, small, doesn't take anything for granted, just works as hard as he can. Definitely a definition of a guy who grinds it out. Yeah. Last question I have for you, you know, being out here at the ball field, you always see kids around the, the ball field. What advice do you have for that younger generation that wants to uh, play at the higher level? I mean, you just got to find the love for it. I mean, honestly, that's all it comes down to. You just love to do it. You want to get better every day at it. I and mean, you're going to go put the time in. If you don't love it, I mean, I don't think it's for you. I mean, every every guy one through 44 on this team loves baseball, and that's a, I think that's a for sure. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah.